graduated from Manipal in 1999. I completed my internship in 1999. I became a dentist. I started doing the conventional dentistry. Extraction, it always starts with extraction, root canal treatments and everything. Then got bored, you know? Why you got bored? If you want to really live your life, every day you should get bored. So I also got bored. I was start getting bored of the extractions. I, I didn't get bored for the extraction, but for the root kind of treatments and all the normal class two restorations, amalgam restorations, veneerings. And then I joined the implants. In 2003, I joined the implants. And then I started doing the implants. It was my first case in April 2003. I did, the, that's a, root, uh, a protocol actually when we do the implants, we always have to do the, we have to place four implants between intermetal foramen. And then we are going, the patient will get ready after three or four months for the metal retained, the bar retained over denture. Hmm. Then, yes, we started doing the implants. It was supposed to be at that time the very complicated case when the mentor foramen was just two to three millimeter. We have the bone above. And uh, for the canal, we have only the eight millimeter bone above the canal. So it was supposed to be a very complicated case. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Then did the intra lift, mega sinus lifts. Completion of the cases with the convention implant. Then, com uh, this or the then we started with the rescue case when we are actually placing the implants and most the, most of the dis when uh, when the distal implant is getting failed, it happens. You know, please, why it's happening? Because yesterday the party was there. You know, <laughs> so that's why I'm just picking up. Okay, the party. You know, that thing has to go off of the vodka and everything and beer. You know, that's why in my cases are having only of the pictures. You know, there is no. Nothing, no, uh, no sentence and nothing literature is sitting there. So then I had a failed, I had a uh, failure of the distal sub gland. And then in 2009, Dr. Stephen Edesa came in uh, Chandigarh, Chandigarh, the ISOI conference was there. And suddenly we start seeing the BO implant. We were sitting there with, oh, come on, guys. The BO implant, we still, we are, right now we are having so much problem. And now what is the hello shape actually? This, you know, like an angel, some hollow is there. The hello is there, okay? This is what type of implants are there. But Dr. Desa has started presenting immediate functional loading. Got the click. Yes, because the patient was always coming for immediate functional loading. I placed my the bio implant at distal segment. First of all, utilize the implants as a rescue cases. Mm. This was one of the case was there. Hardly any bone was there. No bone width was not there. I did the crystal split. I placed actually all the uh, one, two, three, six, 12 implants. Then the upper got failed actually. I used the bio implants and the BCS implants. Then by this actually, when I, I always used to send my uh, OPGs, my pantonogram to Dr. Ade, sir, and he was, I always used to request, sir, please, I want to come to Europe. I want to meet you. I want to assist you. But he, 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 is, he was just actually maybe judging. And then after, the showing, after having a look of this OPG, this BO implant, he told, OK, I think you got maybe skills, actually, you can come down to Hungary. OK. <laughs> So okay, this was the case actually. I did it with Dr. Rahul Veth. I am, uh, I, you, I'm most uh, like me, more than 90% of the case I've done as a cons consultant only. So I was a consult consultant in the Dr. Rahul Veth cell clinic also. I did it, and then yes, it started with the BCS implants, and now come the real implantology. So what was happening? Till 2000, till 2009, I was a dentist, and then I became the assistant of Professor Stephanie. I'm happy and I'm not, as, I'm, not a doc, I'm not a dentist at all. I'm just an assistant of Professor Day. So this was the case. These are simple cases there for all you, actually. We just want to explain, actually, how we are doing it. We place the implant. It's a routine thing is there. Double pterygoids, all the implants, anterior, engaging the nasal cortical, the mandible, distal mandible, we're engaging the lingual cortical, between the intermetal foramen, all the implants angulated towards the more mineralized zone. Hmm. That's how the CTs are there. We used to do flap plus only. We are always doing flap plus, metal to plastic bridges. All hygienic surface will be there. Has to be polished uh, tissue surface should be there. Our protocol is we always use resin modified GIC cement. So recently I got actually just two or three days back, I got a very good, wonderful cement. This is of Kerr. It was really good. I used it. Then the smiling face, the double pterygoids. Implants between the intermental foramen, they don't engage any of the corticals. No, we are not allowed to perforate the lingual cortical. It's contraindicated. We started doing lingual cortical engagement of the distal implant. Anterior placement, pterygoids, and that's how the case. Okay.